boundaries I will try to knock them down I'm latching on, babe Now I know what I have found I feel we're close enough Could I lock in your love? I feel we're close enough Celebrate the gift of your love and now the gift of your marriage and your future. The two of you share something that's very special. And what that is, is a relationship that's being built on the strongest of all foundations, that being love. In our world today, it's not uncommon for people to actually spend their entire lives just searching. And they're just trying to find one person that they can love with all of their hearts, but also know that the love that they give, that that love is returned. What the two of you are saying today to each other, to God, to me, and to all of these who love you, is you are saying that today your search is truly, finally over. And standing next to you, holding your hand, that this is the one. This is the one you've been waiting for. This is the one you've dreamed about. This is the one you love with all of your heart. And the one that you have the privilege to spend your life with. There is absolutely no doubt that in the rest of your lives, there's so much ahead of you. You honestly have the happiest, most exciting, incredible experiences that you're going to share side by side. I know that you have written your own vows and you have vows from your own heart that you're going to share. So I'm going to let you decide who goes first, but I know you're, they're in your pocket, so we're going to have you get those Rock, out. Rock, paper, scissors for it? Yeah. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> so. You want to go first? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to look at you. I'm going to cry. Okay, Cameron, I'm so lucky to be standing here with you today. Since the night we met, I knew we had something special. I still think it was love at first sight. You have made me so happy. I love the way you make me feel every day. Your drive, ambition, brain capacity, sense of adventure, style, hugs and kisses, and your sense of humor are just some of my favorite things about you. I love you unconditionally and without hesitation. I vow to always remain loyal to you, encourage you, trust you, and respect you. As a family, we will build a home filled with laughter, love, and learning. I promise to work with you to make our life the best it can be, knowing that together we can build a much better life than either of us could imagine alone. I, pr I promise to put forth the effort to make you the happiest man alive 
by being the best wife I can be. I promise to cook dinner once a week, unless you want to start eating macaroni and ketchup, then it will be more. I promise to always kiss you good morning, good night, and welcome home. I promise I will celebrate your triumphs and mourn your losses if they are my own. I promise to be your best friend and partner in crime for the rest of my days. You're my forever, Cam. I love you. <laughs> All right, Amy. I promise to love you, to cherish and protect you, to encourage and inspire you, to laugh with you, and to comfort you in times of sorrow and struggle. I promise to love you in good times and in bad, when life seems easy and also when times are difficult. I will stand by you and share with you all of life's adventures, even when we're on the side of the mountain and there's tears. I promise to honor you and to always hold our love for each other in the highest regard, especially when the Packers play the Vikings and Bucky <laughs> plays Goldie. These things I pledge to you today and for the rest of our lives. I love you. Well, let it be known for as much as the two of you, you have stood before Almighty God, all of heaven, and all of this love. You've consented to live in the state of holy matrimony. So by the power given to me by God and the state of Hawaii, with great honor, I now pronounce you <laughs> husband and wife. And you may kiss your beautiful <laughs> Shackled in